Hi everyone, on the higher time frame, I'm looking for this ABC where wave C is then unfinished as we didn't hit the common wave C target or at least the rare wave C target. That means that I'm looking for like a one, two, three, four, five, where I then expect us now to be in this sideways slow correction of a wave four, where wave four is not allowed to close high time frame candles below the 0 0.5, and that's why the invalidation is at about 20.3k and the Fibonacci is taken from the low of two to the high of three. A potential trading setup can then be that the low of the blue four with the 3A2 provides a little bit of nice confluence and an entry area over here at about 21.3K, with then the stop loss below the invalidation with a little bit of leeway, trading it up to the minimum target of this wave X in an even bigger WX and then eventually Y to the downside where the 3A2 is positioned at about 29.7K, some nice confluence here as well, with the support area then turning resistance for a lot more downside to expect in a wave Y, which is then the red wave Y and a W, X, and then eventually a Y to the downside. Entries between the 3A2 and let's say the 0 0.5, stop loss above the high and then trading it to the downside. That is a nice potential trading setup. Targets. Based on estimation, about 12 to 13K, but can be lower. The bearish scenario on the higher time frame is that wave C5 and X are already in over here with an ending diagonal, which I will show you on the medium time frame. And then eventually we're just looking for much lower prices. The invalidation is if we take the highs once more and we're looking for prices of at least taking the lows here of this yellow B at 15.4K. On the medium time frame, this is the bullish scenario that I have, as this is then connected to the higher time frame wave four, and we expect another wave five to the upside. Where currently this is a W, X, and then a Y, and this W, X, Y might be the end of wave four, and then looking for upside in wave five, or this is only the beginning of a three wave structure, and then wave four ends over here, before then, a move up for eventually wave five. Now in this potential wave Y, I'm looking for the following. It's a three wave structure that I'm currently looking at, like a W, X, Y. And what is nice about this is that the target area for the green Y over here in this W, X, Y has confluence with my yellow target box as the target area for wave Y is between the one and 1.236 trend-based FIB extension taken from the high of three to the low of W to the high of X. And you can see it has some confluence with the yellow target box of which you can see the confluences inside the target box on the right side. The invalidation on both sides is taking the high of X, but also if wave Y goes below the 1.618 trend-based FIB extension, which also happens to be then the invalidation level for a wave four in general. The bearish, or wait, and the trade uh, on this scenario, a potential trading setup in this scenario, is then entering about like the weekly naked point of control and then putting the stop loss below the lows over here, which is also again the um, invalidation for a higher time frame wave four. One can trade it then up, and then the question will be if this will be a three way structure, because then of course one has to enter uh, or exit the trade over here, or if this is the end of wave four, one can trade it all the way up to about 30K. The more bearish scenario on this time frame, the medium time frame, is again that we have an ending diagonal over here, ending wave C, and therefore also uh, the X, I gotta change the B here. And then eventually we have a three wave in a one, three waves in a two, looking for some sort of a three wave in the three, and then eventually four and five. This then is a leading diagonal in a wave one, then we have wave two and eventually wave three for a lot more downside to come. Then on the lower time frames, these are the scenarios that I have and that is where it starts to get really, really interesting because of, of course, the sideways action that um, can be boring, but I actually, I, I like it, you know, it's a little bit of a, a puzzle uh, considering Elliott waves. Now this of course then looks like uh, a WXY or a WXYXZ counting on the very low time frames like the five minute or or even three minute time frames is just not worth it. Eventually we will get some move to the upside or the downside, uh, but it looks like a, a complex correction WXY or a WXYXZ. And what you can see is that I have purple lines on my chart as well as yellow lines on my chart. And let me remove this one to make it a bit clear. So what I'm looking for is basically two potential setups because the longer this takes, the more the, let's say, purple setup starts to become valid. So currently I'm looking for some sort of a three wave over here in a W. 
then we have two options either the purple option or the yellow option on the load time frame. The purple option is that this is indeed some sort of a WXY, maybe another XZ, and we just channel ourselves a little bit upwards, la di la di la di la, till eventually the 3A2 and the 0 0.5 Fibonacci target area in this case, and then we move down for then potential wave Y. If that is the case, then the targets of this wave Y is gonna be lower because the w the purple wxy inside the green wxy is going to give us a target with the one-to-one -one inside the target box over here so that is then the one i prefer looking at as this one has confluence with the yellow target box if we look at the yellow count you can see that my x is a lot higher and the yellow lines the fibs are a lot higher as well because in this scenario what i'm then looking for is that somehow this is then still the first part of the correction we get a second part, a move down, and then a third part up. So then we get an ABC expanded flat in this wave X. And then we have an A, and A is somehow quite complex, like a three-wave structure, WXY, who knows? But eventually I'm looking for then some sort of an expanded flat Y, because I would really like for price to hit this area in an expanded flat scenario and then move up as it has confluence with my target box and also if this is wave A and we're looking now for wave B to the downside, the expanded flat wave B target being the 1.236 and the 1.38 Fibonacci levels over here have very nice confluence with the area or the levels that I have on the right side inside this target box. So weekly, daily, daily, uh, daily naked point of control. So that is the scenario of wave X. Basically, what I'm saying is <clears throat> if we hit the 3A2, before going down, I'm looking for the purple lines. If we don't hit any of these purple lines, but we go down first, I'm basically looking for another move to the upside before then eventually more downside. And that is then also the way one can trade it. So these trades are, depend on the scenario. These are currently based on the yellow scenario where if this is indeed an A, B, C in the yellow scenario and we don't first hit the purple lines before going down then this can be a potential trading setup where one can enter at the target area of an expanded flat in the b weekly and daily naked point of control over here then eventually the stop loss below uh, below the lows and then trading it up to potential where the high of wave x is going to be in this then a b c scenario and then trade it back down again with the stop loss above the invalidation at wave x now, if this is gonna be a purple trade, then yes, theoretically, you can enter positions here and go to the downside. However, what I don't like about entering at this area is that there is no structure over here. It's completely empty, so price can very easily shoot to the upside without any structure or resistance over here. So I'm very, very careful there, and I definitely do not like trading this area. Then I prefer to wait for a potential long setup as shown on the medium time frame from the yellow target box that I have over here and then trade it to the upside to wherever price is going to go. Then the bearish scenario on the lower time frame is still the leading diagonal but in this case there's two scenarios again that either this is a one, two, three and then a four, five and then this is just wave A. We get a B and a C. However, that would be very extended in time compared to also the wave one. Or this is still the W and then some sort of an X, Y to finish wave three. Then eventually we have four, five. And uh, yeah, you have seen the, the rest of the scenario on the medium time frame where this then is a wave one diagonal, two, three, and way more downside to come. So. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you found it valuable. My next update will be at 1 p.m. Central East European time. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.